Welcome to the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions. I'm Jan Hall from Folk Roots Radio. The good news, we're back in the studio in Kingsville, Quantum Sound Productions, for another Sun Parlor session. It's great to be back because we are living in these strange, strange COVID times. It's our second session that we've actually been able to do in the studio since we came back. We have been doing a few online and I hope you've been checking out those at sunparlorsessions.com. We have a great session coming up for you today. We're going to be joined by Philip Scott Poley from Windsor, Ontario. Now, Philip's a really interesting songwriter because actually songwriting is what he loves to do. He he openly admits that he doesn't perform that much because he just loves to write songs. He's just released a great album. It's entitled One Sky. It's songs that he's collected over the last 10 years. He's put that out this year. Rumor has it he's also working on another album. So it's great to have Philip join us in the studio today. And he's coming up right now. Enjoy. Wing it. But this is the title cut of my my new release, One Sky. And uh, it was written in COVID times, uh, right after John Prine died. And uh, I had met the man and he did not disappoint. He was everything you'd want him to be if you ever got a chance to meet him. And uh, so it was uh, with a heavy heart that I wrote this song, but, but uh, it's just a song of hope that we'll uh, regain the run of the place one day. <laughs> one day this train will get a ride. One day this train will get a ride. Pull right off of this rusty old siding and get back on the high irons. One day a song will be singing. One day a song will be singing. With mama in the kitchen and the doorbell ringing. And we'll all dip our bread in the sauce. Cause there's only one sky. Only one wind in this world we're living in. I'm gonna stop and close my eyes and see us together under one sky. arms are gonna hug you. Oh, one day these arms are gonna hug you. <laughs> Pull back the clouds to your rainbow above you as long as I can get back home. Cause there's only one sky and only one wind in this world we're living in. Just stop and close your eyes us together under one sky. One day this train will get a riding. One day this train will get a riding. Pull right off of this rusty old side and get back on the high Cause there's only one sky, only one wind in this world we're living in. I'm gonna stop and close my eyes and see us together. Sky to see us together under one sky. This is a this is an ode to my my wee aunt Vali in Glasgow, who I used to go and visit every year and cook in the kitchen and sing songs with. And uh, 
And uh, she passed away, and she was the last of my parents' generation, and uh, she was a wonderful lady. So I was happy to um, memorialize her with this song called Give Me Away. Um, the lyrics of this song are uh, very much based on the poem by Merritt Malloy. Uh, um, there's a poem, and I think it might be called uh, Give Me Away or something similar to that as well. And uh, so all credit where credit's due. I had a dream that was yesterday You were here with me In my old town Glasgow Row house day Making you toast and tea Alakazam at its back But you're still here with me Somehow must be the love you gave People die, but remains Past the meeting of the day When all that's left So this song is kind of self-explanatory. Um, it's called In My Father's Heart. And uh, my, my dad, Peter Cyril Poley, was a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, and uh, every word of this song is true. So. In my father's heart There lived a hero He was unfailing Reliable and sure But he always turned it around And pictured me the heroic one If I could only be the son That's in my father's heart In 
my father's heart stood a gentle warrior. He slayed our sorrows with spears of laughter. And when life has knocked me down, I pick myself up off the ground with strength and reason that I found in my father's heart. When he would throw his arms around me and say, I love you, son, it made it true that with love that's unconditional, there is nothing that you cannot do. And when I've been a man or a solid friend, and when I've done the best that I can do, it's when I've seen myself from the point of view in my father's In my father's heart, there always played a love song. And though he is gone now, I hear that music still. Perhaps one day when I am gone, my daughter's voice will sing a song. She'll say I was sacred. And I was sinless. I was a shooting star. Yeah, so this is called String of Pearls. This is uh, an ode to, to factory life, um, which is a big reality in, in my hometown of Windsor, Ontario. And uh, um, this, is, this is called String of Pearls, and it uh, will be on uh, my new release in 2021. summer as kids we were out riding around just trying to beat the heat down here in Ottawa town came across a barracuda shining in blue it was one of those childhood moments that just stays with you behind the wheel was a beautiful girl I remember around her neck she wore a string of pearls. We said her dad built that car right here in Ottawa Town. And she spoke in the sweetness of her voice was like a magnet made us gather round. She said, little boys, you stay out of the plans. Run like hell now. Offer you the chance to hit the line and build those beautiful machines. You could trade your lives for a living. Go on now, chase your dreams. My first time through the gate, my daddy cried. And I thought somehow I was stealing his pride He said, I hope they don't keep you, son And he gave me a kiss And in the blindness of youth I resented his will But now I'm 53 And my 30 are in And the boys all say Go do and be all those things you should have been But where would I go now? <laughs> what 
what I do It's funny I'm in here just to get a little something But in the end These places They get you Hiram's mash is like a drunkard's breath It's heavy on the night breeze A sweet cicada song It rattles down Through the arms of the peach trees This town is awash With all those should have been the bees and the blues and the bars just agree oh. now when I look down that line see that string of pearls each a treasure with a dream for their own little world and I pray life between these walls don't pull them back beneath the sea where the sun on the beach is just something else out of That's Philip Scott Poley live in the studio for the Sun Parlor Coffee House sessions. We are in the midst of COVID times, which is why Gary Glass and I have been socially distancing while Philip performed. We're actually sitting six feet apart now, in case you wonder. Philip Scott Poley, it's great to be able to chat to you today. I didn't bring my tape measure, but I'll take your word for it. You know, It's great to be here. I really love the way that you put yourself out there. You are a songwriter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once in a while, people will say, oh, you're a musician. And I'll go, well, no. And they go, oh, you're a performing artist. And I'm like, yeah, no. It's, it's songwriting is what I do, what I love to do. I'm just happy as a lark when someone else is recording one of my songs or performing one of my songs. I'm like... God bless you. Go do that. <laughs> Take my song and fly. That's, that's that, my dream. Yeah. But songwriting is what you love to do. Were you writing in those days as well? I was. I I was writing original songs as a teen, as a kid. Um, but you know, never. No, the world never saw them. You know what I mean? It was just kind of this cathartic thing I did on my own in private, and. Uh, it just sort of came to me over the long haul in life that people actually do this for a living and you know these great songs come from somewhere and I'd hear I'd hear an artist I love do a song and then I'd go check and go they didn't write that song somebody else did and it just was a s slow process of realizing you know what some people just write songs and uh, so it just yeah it was just a, a lifelong sort of passion of mine and uh, just took it and ran with it over time. So you would just start to, to write and then collect these songs and, and play them out a little bit yourself. But yeah. were you always looking for people that might want to sing them for you? Um, no, that was, uh, I wasn't really trying to market songs and, and push songs until I started going to Nashville and seeing sort of how the pros do it and how, how the business worked and whatnot. Um, so I, it's not something I ever, um, tried to do to make a buck or anything. Um, I just really had the ambition to get better at songwriting. And, uh, so, you know, I, I started going to Nashville and, and seeing how it all worked. And 
um, had the gumption to go up to the the big songwriters and say, "Hey, I want to bend your ear." And they and I was surprised. They were like, "Sure, why not? You know, let's have a beer." And and uh, found out that songwriters are really cool people. They're a really great for fraternity. And uh, I was on the right track and in the right company. That's that's wonderful. And certainly, you know, there there is something very special about that. Um, creating that three to four minutes of yeah. oral bliss. Yeah, you know, it, and it, you know, it's there's so many different approaches. There's so many different methods. No two are the same, and there is no right or wrong. There's a there's a million rules, but there's there's a million rules to break happily, and uh, you know, it's a subjective thing. So uh, you know, it's just something you you work at and it's like yeah, they, they say you never finish a song you just kind of abandon it <laughs> so you put out a collection this year one sky which you say is songs collected over the 10-year period uh, the interesting thing is though you actually recorded this during covid lockdown and i think you had musicians helping you from uh, yeah. several different countries across the world you know probably for the last 10 years i've um, had friends and co-writers and whatnot sort of beating me saying you've got to get these songs out there you've got to get these songs out there and I I knew I had to do this and I had never done it and I just procrastinated forever because I was afraid of the process and um, uh, COVID came along and the whole world stopped and I've I've worked you know, at at the trades, at the skilled trades, all my life, and overtime and weekends, and I worked too much, and all of a sudden everything stopped, and the light just went on. Now is the time. No, oh, well, that's great. Well, I'm so pleased for you because you know, as someone in radio, I love to to get that new work from people. So and, the more know, people write, the more I get to to consider to play. My my big discovery in this is. Um, the people in radio, the folk DJs, and the people that I, I chose to work with at Trespass Music, um, Michelle and uh, Fortier and Larry Ahern, uh, they're such good people. They're good human beings and they do such a good job. And um, I, I did an interview with uh, John Silberg up mm-hmm. at CKOL a couple of weeks ago. And I'm, I'm meeting and connecting with so many new people that are lovers of of live and local music and roots music, folk music, and it's been a revelation to me how how they feel like family and how they've embraced this this album without knowing me from Adam, and uh, it's it's been a wonderful experience. It really has. Well, that's the thing, right? That you know, writing the songs is great, but if you want to get people to play them and make their own versions, you actually often have to yeah. to get them out there yourself. And then people say, oh, that's a good song. We heard one of the new songs today, String of Pearls, which I, I just love. Absolutely yeah. fabulous Thank song. you. Thank you. Yeah, and that's that's an older song. That song's been around for quite a while. And, uh, you know, I've performed it locally, and people ask for it. Um, but, you know, yeah, it needs to get out there and get heard. I, it's kind of like, does a song even really exist if, doesn't get hurt you know it's so I I realize that there's two sides to the equation just hiding and writing isn't going to get the job done I got to go through the process of putting them out there and seeing what happens it's been an absolute pleasure to have you join us in the studio today Philip Scott Poley in the studio for the Sun Parlor Coffee House Sessions we got one more song to come thanks again thank you so this is called Where Do All the Hit Songs Go? It's another cut from One Sky. And uh, there's, there's a lot in this song, but it's all, it's all true. Um, I like the sentiment expressed in this song, but um, there was a, a time way back when where we took my, my little nan and granddad, my grandparents, to, to see this show of old rock stars from their era, the, the Mills Boys and the, and the ink spots, and they just cried through the whole show. And I think it was the moment of my childhood where I knew what the power of song was, and probably when I somehow in my bones decided to become a songwriter. Sometimes there is a truth that rings in kids who say the darndest things and drag up truths from deep inside that we always knew 
but we couldn't hide. I was driving with my boy today, and a song came on that used to play. We knew every word, and we always sang along. And he asked, where had that good song gone? Where do all the hit songs go when they fall off the radio? When they decide to move the list and make room for some brand new hits when they've outplayed a favorite song and it's time for it to move along. Dad, there's a thing I'd really like to know. Where do all the hit songs go? I told the story of my grand folks And taking them to see a show Some music stars from long ago The Mills boys singing glow, worm glow And the ink spots singing whispering grass And before my eyes their whole lives passed Hopes and dreams, wars and pain they sang through tears to each refrain And that music seemed to reach inside their soul And find the place where hit songs go Like somewhere over the rainbow Or blue eyes crying in the rain Stay in line the way that we were as time goes by. So, where do all the hit songs go when they fall off the radio? When they decide to move the lips and make room for some brand new hits, when they've outplayed a favorite song and it's time for it. There's an old jukebox in a music lover's soul And that's where all the hit songs go That's where all the